figured I'd make a quick video about electrical as far as um, this is a 2017 Sierra 2500 HD 6.0 liter gas engine and being a plow truck I have an insane amount of electronics in it um, when you plow snow typically wipers can be going full blast seat heater is on rear defrost is on and along with the defrost and the mirrors you got the leds in there you got the roof light i got a fisher xv2 in the front which is not on right now v plow I got a 14 foot back blade I got these lights that come on when I hit a switch inside to light up the front, the inside of the wings as I'm going forward because my backup lights only work in reverse. So I got these little things, little seven inch light bars. So when this is on, these little LEDs are going off. This only goes on in reverse along with the ones. I got some rigids that I put in the bumper. And then I 22 inch aux beam side shooter along with the little LEDs for stop turn and tail um, what else I got ditch light pods in the front that are hooked up to like a high beam relay so when I put it on high beam they go on I got a B&M transmission cooler I added right here in the grill and that's got a uh, switch to come on at 175 degrees, back off at 145. Or I can just b bypass it here with number one. And then this LED comes on. I wired it so that if I turn the fan comes on, the light's on. I watch everything here with the Stinger High 10. So all kinds of things going on. You're charging your phone, lights. The Fisher XV2 has the LED lighting upgrade. It's got the defrost grids in the front. So I went with a 400 amp alternator. It makes um, 205 amps at 800 RPMs. And it makes 411 at 1800 RPMs. And I deleted the factory um, computer controlled, what do they call it? Like the R, RCV or RVC system. And I upgraded to one aught cables. And I tried to use all the um, stuff like factory as much as possible. So, you know, still able to use a fuse box here. And then the cables hooked up in parallel, obviously, all the way over the main battery. On this side, so got that one hot positive coming in from the other side. Everything's hidden under here real well. This is kind of hard to take off. So I made a new. You know, got this, this. This is like a factory GM for a different vehicle. This terminal here with the lug on it. So this is for the Fisher plow. So this feeds the factory um, distribution box, and these this is all fused. If you look in there, you can see different fuses. Um, so this one's like my Rockford Fosgate amplifier, but it's got its own fuse right here. So this is you know basically would never work. And I moved the stutter to around. This one here is a fused 400 amp from the factory. This one's not used. So I took a stud from over there and brought it over here because the factory um, cable from the alternator came over here. I don't use that anymore because the alternate, the battery over there gets the alternator now. And then it's you know in parallel here. And then obviously the um, ground is also one aught to the back of the engine like the factory. Uh, which was smaller obviously and then i got a four gauge that goes down by the body mount i think factory was like 10 or 8 gauge 
And then this is the negative for the plow, the front plow. All the back plow stuff is over there. Um, along with, I got a relay. I got two relays here. One relay is for the pod lights triggered in the box here by um, my high beam switch. And then the other one is a relay for the uh, cooling fan in the, for the transmission cooler. And then these two fuses here are my two subwoofers hidden behind the back seat, which we'll just hook up in here. So I'm 400 amp fuse. Factory, the auxiliary had a 125 uh, amp fuse. So I went up to a 400. So I'm fused on that end from that battery and I'm fused on this end from this battery for the alternator. Like I said, these two are the, the uh, self-amplified subs. And then these two are the relays here. And then everything is grounded here. I've got a one-aught cable that grounds right to the, by the alternator. And you've got this other one out here that goes down to the frame by the control arm. So basically that back blade has a one aught negative cable coming off the motor and it just grounds to the frame and then you're using the frame as a conductor. And when it gets up here, you're using a one aught cable to carry the current for ground from the frame over to the negative terminal here. So, um, yeah, a lot of shit going on, but it's set up well.